This is Cape Chronicle. I'm Jacob McClellan. Governor Jay Nixon visited Cape Girardeau in mid-October to highlight his 100 Missouri Miles Challenge to get Missourians on the state's trails. I caught up with the governor at Trail of Tears State Park to talk about Missouri's trails, tax policy, and tax credits for the movie industry. I also asked about propofol, an anesthetic that the Missouri Department of Corrections was planning to use for the execution of two prisoners and why the governor chose to move away from the use of that drug. That information has since become outdated, and as of the recording of this show, the state has chosen a different drug. Hi, it's Cape Chronicle. I'm Jacob McClellan. We're joined today at Trail of Tears State Park by Missouri Governor Jay Nixon. Thank you so much for coming by to talk with us today. Absolutely. Great to be here. Well, tell us, why, why are you here in Trail of Tears? What brings you to this, uh, this neck of Missouri? Well, uh, this, we're using this park today to highlight our 100 Missouri Miles Challenge. Uh, last beginning of the summer when we were chosen as the outstanding trail state in the country, the first lady and I challenged Missourians to get out and use those trails. And as we sit here right now, uh, over 10,200 Missourians have already completed 800,000 miles. We also had an online poll as to the best place to hike. And I said the one that won I'd go to, and that's Trail of Tears State Park. And so we're out today to not only be here and talk about it, but actually uh, hike a few miles on the trails. Now, have you had a chance to go in and explore some of Missouri's trails since you've begun this initiative? Absolutely. I'm a little over 300 miles. Uh, still haven't caught the first lady. She's out in front of me by, by 25 or 30 miles. I, as I've told a lot of folks, I've been chasing this woman for 35 years. I hope to catch her at some point. But uh, um, yeah, we've had a chance to spend time on the Katy Trail and in, in uh, city trails and, and, and county trails throughout the state and uh, look forward to the fall. Uh, if this weather stays like it is, hopefully Missourians and others will continue to get outside, get healthy and enjoy our great resources. Well, what are some things that you can learn about Missouri by hiking its trails? Well, I mean, a couple of things. Uh, first of all, the great history. Um, you know, when you when you walk the steps that Lewis and Clark traveled or when you uh, uh, go to Mark Twain's uh, birthplace or you go to uh, right here, the Trail of Tears. What an incredible historic uh, uh, time for our country that uh, uh, this this is the place that uh, all those Native Americans hiked across in a, in a horrific time. So you get to learn a lot. The second thing is that, uh, uh, you know, staying active is a key to staying healthy. And we're always trying to make sure Missourians are as healthy as possible and uh, getting outside and staying moving is important to do that. Let's talk a little bit now about some some other topics in particular sure. uh, tax policy. Um, your veto of the Republican sponsored tax cut was uh, sur survived the, the veto session but some Republicans are promising an another similar bill coming through in the next session. Are, are you ready to, uh, to, to fight that fight uh, that fight again? Well, first of all, I was glad that the strong bipartisan group of legislators uh, agreed with me and, and helped sustain that veto, which I thought was bad policy for the state on two fronts. Number one, I thought that raising taxes on prescription drugs and college textbooks was not good for the state's economy. And number two, the tax cuts they had both while they were unfair, were also too deep. In order for us to move forward in the future, we've got to continue to support education uh, and make sure that we live the value of education being the number one economic development tool that there is. I've supported and signed four tax cuts as governor. They've all met a two-pronged test, that they were directly tied to job creation, and number two, that they were fiscally responsible. I felt that House Bill 253 met neither of those tests. And we're starting to see some parts of the, uh, the Affordable Care Act uh, coming into effect. The health insurance exchange is now opening up. Um, earlier this year, um, you tried to get the uh, legislature to expand its Medicaid program, but they, uh, they, de they declined that. Is this something that you're, that you're, that you're looking to get, talk with some of the Republicans and kind of start some, start some conversations about perhaps in the next session getting something like that going? Well, I thought it was interesting and important that the, the House and the Senate both appointed interim committees to look at it. The House committee has uh, uh, been clear in their recommendation that what Missourians said over the summer was that we needed to move forward and reform and improve and expand our Medicaid system so that more working Missourians have access to health care. I also think it's been important since the legislature has been out that a number of states headed up by Republican governors are moving forward. Most recently, just today, the state of Ohio moving forward, the state of Pennsylvania, the state of Michigan, the state of Iowa. So it's clear to us that, uh, uh, that in order to, uh, to, to succeed, we're going to have to try to do the best we can with taxpayer dollars. And it just doesn't make a lot of sense for every Missourian to send $300 to Washington, D.C. so that that money can be spent to improve access to health care in other states. We believe that $2 billion a year should come back from Missouri. I'm hopeful that the legislature this year will agree with me. Now you've asked the Department of Corrections to postpone the, uh, the execution of Alan Nicholson due to the uh, due issues regarding uh, propofol. Um, is, is, is propofol off the table now as, as uh, an execution drug for Missouri? Well, you look at two things in this regard. First and, first and foremost is making sure public but private safety, uh, public safety is, is, is upheld in that situation. Uh, Nicholson, uh, you know, a fellow that was uh, convicted of very violent murders, 
and uh, uh, so, but on the other side, you have public health. With the with the risks for public health, if uh, propofol was removed from the from the protocol not for uh, uh, doctors and others doing uh, basic surgery around the country, we felt that it was important to, to 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 stop this execution at this time, ask for a death warrant on down, and come up with a new uh, way uh, chemically to uh, to do the lethal injection moving forward that will allow us to uh, uh, to continue uh, this uh, this responsibility of the death penalty, but uh, not put at risk public health throughout the the state and the country. What are some of the other options that are that are still on the table right now? I mean, I, I would leave that to the experts in the area. Other than I'm, I'm not a chemist or, a, or an expert, other than to say that it was clear from the uh, from the informed uh, challenges with this one uh, that this is a uh, propofol is a drug that has grown into significant use in operating. Uh, uh, rooms all across uh, the country and that since the vast majority of that is made in Europe, uh, the risk of losing that supply in those other settings uh, was uh, too high uh, in this situation and consequently I've held this one back moving forward and I'll let the folks that are experts in this area develop an appropriate chemical protocol to move forward. Now the Department of Economic Development has a uh, 4.5 million dollar tax credit for, for film production in Missouri and this is sunsetting in, in November. Is this is that a tax credit that you feel that should be extended beyond uh, beyond its current use? Um, it, it's a, it's an exciting one to be around. People love having movies filmed, uh, it, but it's a little difficult to show the long term economic uh, impact of it. I think that uh, we need to look at the entirety of our tax credit program. We uh, uh, year four last spent almost six hundred and twenty million dollars in tax credits that uh, that went out there, and and I think we need to have job creation, long term job creation as part of our tax credit program. Uh, we'll all enjoy seeing uh, uh, Cape Girardeau and, the, and Gone Girl in just a, in a few short months, but the bottom line is that's one that should be put in with all of the other tax credits to get a, a hard look uh, in the upcoming session, and I certainly would, uh, uh, would, would be somebody that would want to make sure that we had direct job creation uh, as a part of our tax credit program. We've been talking today with Governor Jay Nixon here at Trail of Tears State Park. Governor Nixon, thank you so much, and enjoy your hike today. Thank you. I spoke with Governor Nixon in mid-October at Trail of Tears State Park. Please note that Missouri has named another drug that it plans to use for executions. You can find more information about that issue at krcu.org.